Hello, it's Lauren again. So the last time I saw a starfish, I was talking about honeycomb worm reefs and how they are really important for other animals. And I couldn't believe my luck when I found a common starfish nestled into the structure of the reef, taking refuge on a hot spring day. So we're here again on the rocky shore and I wanted to talk a little bit more about the common starfish that are always amazing to find here. But it's not just here that you'll see them, they have been found as deep as 600 metres. As their name suggests, common starfish are pretty common on rocky shores, especially where mussels and other shellfish are really abundant. It's their favourite thing to feast on and they do that by pulling open their shells with their arms, then once they've pushed their stomach through their mouth, they digest all the soft insides, which is then absorbed back to the starfish through its stomach wall. They have lots of tiny tube feet with suckers, helping them to gracefully move around and grab onto their prey, although currently tickling my hand. And if you gently turn them over, you will see them all moving around. Like some other reptiles, starfish have an amazing ability to regenerate if they lose an arm in battle, or sometimes they lose them on purpose to escape predators and then they regrow them again. Several starfish can wash up on beaches as they generally come together in large numbers to feed. This has happened locally over the last few weeks and something that I've seen many times before across the UK. It can seem a little bit of a mystery but is actually really quite common. Strandings are most common in winter storms and around sandy areas where the waves and currents dislodge them. At this time of year, into the spring and summer, the answers are less obvious, but it's likely to be around sea temperature changes and also the fact that starfish come into shallower waters to breed. So if you do see a starfish stranding, it's totally normal. Depending on how long they've been on the beach and out of water, you may be able to help some back to safety, particularly if you see their little tube feet moving around. As humans, we seem to have this real natural instinct and desire to want to help and save wildlife. But consider the fact that this is all part of a much more important and complex food chain, and strandings can be a real valuable food source for other creatures. Either way, it's really lovely to see them.